Today I had spinach and eggs for lunch, so I'm gonna generate a wilting spinach monster. The first thing that I need is some good training data. So here I'm just taking pictures of my spinach with my iPhone as I'm cooking, and I'm looking for a variety of images that can teach the model different concepts related to spinach. Once I have all the pictures taken, I need to write captions for all of them. And I could write all the captions manually, but I built a tool that uses other AI models to look at every image and automatically generate captions for them. Then once I have all the images and captions paired together, I've built a data set and it's time to train the model. It takes about 45 minutes to fully compute. And then once the model is trained, I can start testing it. I can see that this is working pretty well out of the box. Now I start getting a little bit more creative with the prompt. Two unsettling mannequins made of spinach standing in an abandoned farmhouse with deadpan facial expressions, tilted heads, gaping mouths, and intense gazes. Now that I have all the images, it's time to bring them to life. This agent is working for me, taking my executive direction, breaking that down into technical instructions, and thinking creatively about how to achieve its goal. So what I'll do is I'll bring all the video clips into the edit along with some generated horror music and I'll cut that into the finished piece. And the final step of the process is to run the edit through my semi-automated post-production pipeline. And this will automatically upscale the video to higher resolution. It smooths out the motion. It does color correction to balance the tones. And then it adds cinematic vignette and film grain for the final polished look. And that's a complete pipeline from spinach on my cutting board to a horror reel in about four hours. Thank you.